What is good, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another one chunk at a time, Iron Man number 43. Last episode we ended with me rolling some chunks, and we are going to continue to do so in this episode. A lot. A lot of chunks. It's going to be a fun time. Last episode, I had you guys tell me what is your favorite food, and I appreciate it. Although you guys had some great answers, Chicken Alfredo does reign supreme. Today, I'm coming at you with a really hard-hitting question, and it's the most important one. Do you prefer dogs or cats? I love a good dog, man. I do. But I'm a cat guy now. Ladies and gents, I think that I'm deserving of something. I have put out a Chunk Man episode four weeks in a row. All of them. Over 40 minutes, hours upon hours, probably hundreds and hundreds of hours of in-game time for that, by the way. Just like the video, okay? Just like it. That's all I ask. Subscribe if you're new. I'm trying to get up to 25,000 by the end of the year. Come follow Twitch as well if you want spoilers. Big, 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 big spoilers on there. I love you guys. Enjoy the video. Peace. Also, free Artie Man level 4. Thanks, Shagax. I don't care what chunks are rollable over there now because we've rolled too many and all of them have been absolutely nothing except for the plow tent. So, here we go. 3, 2, 1. Roll the chunk. And what is it? It's Metafoss. Okay, do I actually have to go mi visit Metafoss? I might just say F it and not go visit Metafoss because I have gone running around from place to place. All that we would do is go look at a wall. I don't want to go look at a wall, man. All right, I've made the executive decision that we are not going to go look at Menafoss because it is literally just a wall and a guy with a uh, carpet. So, you know what? It, use your imagination. I deeply apologize to anybody who I will upset by doing this, but it sucks to suck. I guess the other part of Menafoss being unlocked now is that when Raids 3 comes out, if I can do all the quests, that'll be uh, Raids 3 doable. So, I guess there's kind of that, but for the time being, it's basically nothing. So, all right, let's roll a new chunk. Here we go. Pick the chunk, man. I just roll. Huh. Okay. It's a good chunk to have. In search of my IQ. Um, I don't think that's a whole heck of a lot. Diary task, none. Connections. Yeah, that's basically nothing, but we can go look at it. Uh, it's just basically another nothing chunk, but gets us closer to Barrows in a sense. In a small sense, it does, at least. Okay, I guess we'll take a trip over here now. Waterlogged. That sounds fun. I love being waterlogged. Uh, it's, it's a lot more of a swampy area than you might expect. Because it's, it's a swamp, man. And then we got the, the, the rope over there with the tree that we can't do anything with until we finish the, that quest, the Meyer, the Meyer quest. Apparently, I pronounce it incorrectly, so uh, that's my fault. But this is it. This is the Chunk Man's dream. Yep. Uh, okay. Let's, let's go. Absolutely nothing new is rollable after that one. That's fun. Let's do it again. Ooh, MacGruber's Woods. Okay. That's one step closer to getting Fishing Trawler done, but it just doesn't want to give me the Ranging Guild. Does this game have something against me having an Ava's or a range cape. I swear it does, man. I It's got to be at this point. This is kind of... It's, it's like, ridiculous. Okay. Any quest progression here? Fishing contest? That's it. Yeah, we just need Heminster unlocked. Diary? Ooh, maybe I can do a, a little diary task right there. Okay, cool. Okay, let's go into the, the woods of MacGruber for the first time. Uh, we got these guard dogs. Uh, I'll kill one. You know, just... To, they're mean. I, I got to assert my dominance here uh but the one medium task that i was talking about is actually a fairy ring task which we still don't have access to which is really fun and now it's dead so i guess we could go take a little little quick stroll around and and see what this is all about but i'm gonna guess a safe guess too that it's probably just a whole lot of nothing yep that's that's what it looks to be just nothing there's the vine that we can use at some point whatever the quest is for that i think it's fishing trawler not fishing trawler fishing contest my apologies all free dwell berry as well so we got to definitely take our free dwell berry oh, okay i was bullied nay i was harassed by my chat and told to come get uh these red worms so here we are we're gonna get some of these and put them in the bank for who knows how long 
Are you happy? Are you happy? Because I am not. Give me something fun to do, man. All right, game. It has been fun to roll some chunks that are just like nothing chunks, but I'm asking you. Nay, I'm begging. Give me a grind, man. I want to I wanna play the game, you know? I don't want to go walk in Zay in their empty chunks again. Let's see. Where are we off to now? What is the roll? That was so close, man. Oh, why do you have to tease me like this? Why do I have to be teased like this? Darkness of Hollowvale, no. Innate of Mire, no. Sins of the Father, no. Can't do any of them. Why? 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 That was so rude, man. Oh, I can't even do anything there yet. I don't even know if I can go in. I don't even know if I can get in the club. Freak, dude. Oh, come on. All right, well, I decided that I wasn't going to go see the Metaphos wall, but I will come to see this one. This is literally it. Like, I can't even move out of here because if I try to go over there, it tries to take me, it, it, like, and I can't even jump over this fence because it, it wouldn't be a good idea. So I'm just going to AFK here for the next 10 minutes. And you know what? I love Settled, and I'm not going to say that. I apologize, Uh my guy, I do. That was rude of me. Um, oh, and just to prove it, we can't even get to the other side either because, well, we don't have that area unlocked. All right, let's roll a chunk. All right, no more milk. Let's pick a chunk. Uh, wow. Well, okay. Um, hey, wait. Is that? Wait, wait, wait. That's not. Is that dwarf cannon? No, we need the fall. Oh no. We're one chunk from the falls? Oh no, dude. Now that is scary. One chunk from the falls. Oh, that's scary. Okay. Um, so, not bad. Okay. We got Holy Grail. Oh, wait. Can we do Holy Grail? We might be able to do the full completion of Holy Grail. That would be pretty sick. One chunk for the falls. Even if we do roll the falls, we also need to get Barbasalt to be able to... Because we can't... You can't slip across there without having this Barbasalt area unlocked. So, we uh, we won't even be able to do all of the fun and exciting stuff in there until we have that area unlocked. So, let's go do Holy Grail. I think I can do it unless it's preceded by a quest that I don't have. And I think there's a couple diaries that I can at least start. An easy, two easies and a medium. All right, well, we'll take a look and see if those we can do if we can do those as well. Cool. I'll be taking this grail now. Thank you very much. Fel Wait, oh, can, I, can, I, can I have my grail? Take it. Hello? Wait, what? Return to Camelot and talk to the... I got to go talk to Arthur again, bro? I just can't take the grail? What the... F you already ha already have one. Already had one in my inventory. Okay. Well, I'm I'm a goober, man. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, Arthur, how are we doing today? Talk to me, pal. Uh, here's your here's your grail. How goes thy quest? You don't have to talk so pretentiously. There we go. There's two quest points. Eleven thousand prayer XP. Fifteen point three defense. Eleven. Uh, wait, no, not eleven. Eleven. One eleven total quest points. So there we go. That is pretty cool. I'm um, now going to take a look and see what easy Kandarin Diaries we can do now. See if the hard one that we have doable is also doable too. Am I stupid? Yes, there we go. I need to see what we have left for the quest after this. I think Piety is a long way away, but we might be chunking slowly closer towards it. All right, with the quest being complete, we did the other two easies that we can do, which was get a cup of tea from Sir Galahad and cross that log over there. And lastly, what we need to do is mine a coal. Those are all the diaries that we can do for the time being. We also got a poison chalice, so let's take a sip of this. Should be pretty fun. Uh, plus one crafting. Is there anything that I can do with 91 crafting that I should uh, that I should worry about real quickly? Doesn't look to be. All right, well... I'll take a trip over here because we're very close to having Dwarf Cannon unlocked. But I believe it's not doable because we would need to have this other side obviously rollable. 
um, are doable because we'd have to fix some. Yeah, like right there, you can barely see it, but the railing is curved off right there. So we'll be able to roll that at some point and do Dwarf Cannon. But until that day, Dwarf Cannon is not doable. And I think that's all that we can do in this chunk for now. Look at these two extraordinarily useful chunks that I could have access to, and yet we've managed to roll around every single one of them perfectly. I do not understand what my luck is here. You know, sometimes it just be like that for me. All right, well, let's do this again. Uh, also, wait, no. Did I already talk about 72? I think I already talked about 72. Who cares? Sorry, let's roll the joke. Here we go. And what do we get unlocked? Wow, lizards, completely open space. Oh, wow, uh, it's been so much fun. Just go away. All right, um, right, we'll go look at some lizards. Sweet, we can finally step into the main lizards chunk, and that's literally it. I've had lizards, access to lizards for a long time because four of them spawn in that chunk right there. The cooler part about having this area unlocked is we can now make Narda rollable because we do have these upper chunks unlocked via Pollen of Each. So we can scoot uh, past here and, and run up here as well because we have these chunks unlocked, and we can roll up right up against Narda now. So that's pretty sick. I can make Narda rollable. I would really like to get Narda, uh, you know, rolled because they and I could do the unfinished potions. It's a long trip here because I don't have any quick teleports over here at all. Maybe I have some scrolls in the bank. But until that time, uh, Narda is, you know, still, still, still locked. Oh, I guess, uh, I guess agility pyramid is too. I can roll agility pyramid. All right, cool. Uh, let's roll a new chunk. Roll another chunk. Where are we going next in the world? Closer to raids, huh? Oh, boy. Um, what is it with this line, man? Roll something up here. Oh, man. Closer to raids. That's not scary at all. Not terrifying whatsoever. Okay. okay, let's take a step onto this forsaken battleground for the first time. Now, there's been a great debate that's been happening in my chat as to whether or not I can actually kill any of the shamans here. I genuinely have no clue. There's a lizardman right there. I believe you need some sort of favor to do it. Wait, wait, can I? I can, I can, I can kill lizardmans? What the heck? Uh. And, uh, so... So these guys do have a drop rate of 1 in 250 for the Xerix Talisman. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. We can at least get a Xerix Talisman. Can we get teeth from here? Yes, we can get the fangs. So we'll stay here until we get the Talisman. That's what we have up next. And then we can finally have a good teleport around the world here. It's been terrible. It's been terrible traversing. The world of Zaya so far, but finally we have a Xerix Talisman, which will make life so much easier. That's actually something that I did just learn. I thought that I needed to get favor here first. Am I getting favor for what I'm doing? That's the real question. No, I'm not. Okay, so I still will need to get favor. Okay, that's cool. <clears throat> uh, hello, it's me from the editing floor. Um, so, long story short... I was accidentally recording this clip. Shouldn't even have gotten it live, to be honest. Um, I raided somebody on stream, and literally as soon as I raided them, I got the Xerix Talisman. I, and for some reason, my stream and my recording just messed up. So I was probably saying something like, Whoa, Pog, I'm po Pog, dude, crazy. Xerix Talisman. But nobody heard it because it was off stream. But there's the Xerix. Woo! So after we rolled the Xerix Talisman, I needed a little bit of a break from stream because I gone like five or six days in a row. So uh, I took off uh, about a day and a half, and I've been sitting at Wyverns here for about a day and a half now. Uh, this is my loot from sitting here killing probably like five or six hundred Wyverns. And this will be the last one that I kill right now before we start rolling uh, some more chunks. I primarily did this because I wanted something super AFK to do, and also because I was very, well, still am very, very, very close to 99 range. So, all right, there is our last Wyvern killed, and I guess if you've ever wanted to know uh, what loot is from five or six or 700 Wyverns, this is what it looks like. And that's really it. I'll, I'll see you rolling some more chunks. Also, you probably haven't seen my face in a long time, so hello. I'm still here.
Oh, there is the last Xerixian fabric, or how do you say that word? I don't know how you say that word, but there it is. There's the last Xerixian uh, fabric that we need to make all of our salad robes. So now I can gear up and go PK myself at Callisto again. Some of you will probably ask me, what about mounting the Xerix talisman in the player-owned house? Well, we will need to do that at some point. But a part of that recipe is having a gold leaf, which I obviously do not have. I still need to unlock Keldegrim, which, I mean, to be fair, isn't, like, super far away. But, like, you know, it's a decent amount of the way there. We could very well unlock the actual Shaman's Grind before we even get there. But if we do get gold leaf, we will have to go get 5,000 teeth, which could take me, uh, you know, a little bit of time to do. Let's make our hat, our top. And our legs. Wonderful. Now, we'll store that in the magic wardrobe. And we're good to go. Oh, wait. Nope. That doesn't go there. Okay. Let's try this one. You know, I never know where what goes where. Oh, there we go. Wonderful. All right. Uh, let's, uh, let's roll these chunks. How about it? All right. With those chunks being done, we now have access to 75, 77, and 76. 75... Is a scary one, but not, like, super scary yet. Once we actually roll one of these, uh, like, 73, then it will be scary because we'll have to complete Mulk Lake, which is probably the worst piece of content Jagex has ever put into the game other than, like, Cerberus. Uh, 77, that one is a little scary because it has access to the Lizardman Caves, but the caves are only doable via a Slayer task. Now, I don't have a Slayer... Um, a Slayer Master who can give me Shamans at this point, so it's not that big of a deal. But once we unlock an Eve or anything greater than that, we'll have access to them. I don't know if I can kill them without favor. And then 76, probably just a cool-looking place. So, let's roll a new chunk, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this over with. Roll on the mainland, please, not Zaya. Here we go. What do I just do? What do I unlock? Hello, game? Oh! Finally, man! We get Alice's farm. I've been waiting for this quest for so long. Oh, that's great to see. That is great to see. Alice's farm unlocked. We now have our fifth farming patch, I believe. And one of them is kind like the the Hosidius one is relatively useful for it. Maybe that's our fourth. No, that's our fifth. That's our fifth one. So that's really good. Garden of Tranquility is almost doable. We should probably plan for that just in case. Animal Magnetism, it says it's doable. I'm not sure Animal Magnetism is doable, though, because I think we need Ecto Tokens for it. Let me look into this. I think for Animal Magnetism, we do need Ecto Tokens. But uh, we can't get them yet without having one unlock. So let me let me do a little bit of research. I'll figure this out and, and we'll go from there. Cool. Uh, one piece might actually be longer than RuneScape, but it's worth it. Nah, no way. All right. We have uh, completed our Kekona duties here at the Port Phasmatis area. And I was correct. Although I do have access and have all of the, quote, things needed to complete this quest, I do need to have Ecto Tokens, which I cannot obtain until we unlock this upper area of the uh, of the Ecto, fun uh, Ecto Functus. So, until that time, we won't be able to do it, but once we have those, you know, to uh, tokens, then I believe we can do both Ghost Ahoy and Animal Magnetism. So, that's about it for now. I guess I have to kill, you know, a chicken and a, and a cow, too. Before we go. I imagine hitting a zero on a chicken, man. That's pretty crazy. Sit, idiot. You're dead. All right. Now we can roll a new chunk. Alice's farm is a wonderful chunk to have unlocked, but obviously there is nothing new rollable after unlocking that one. Unlocking one would be wonderful. Get it? But, you know, I'm probably never going to roll one or 39 because F me. That's why. Let's see what's next. What are you? You're probably just another nothing chunk, aren't you? At least nothing for now. 15 barbed-tailed kebits, 2 black warlocks, 15 crimson swift, 2 spine Laripa. I guess I can probably go... Um, I should probably go do a little bit of hunter for the first time, shouldn't I? <clears throat> it's actually probably not that bad to unlock. I'll have to catch a couple of these. And then the spine Laripa... I think I can make a full outfit out of that, so I'll probably make that and fill the player own house. So I guess let's get to some 
Let's get some hunting, huh, ladies and gents? All right, here's the last thing that we need to do in this chunk for now. We have caught our Crimson Swift. We're going to swiftly drop that to the ground. And I guess we have all the bones that we need. We caught the black-tailed Kebit, I think it was. And we got a barb tail harpoon, which is, like, best in slot for harpooning. It saves us an inventory space, so pretty good right there. We have a black warlock. We're going to release that. And don't they, like, give you boosted stats or something or maybe that's an rs3 i don't know but see you later kid and then we caught a few uh laripas and we're gonna go turn these into furs or uh something yeah i think we could do that at the fancy shop over here we only needed one regular and then two tatty for the top and bottom so cool let's go do those real quickly all right uh i see you how do you say, i don't know how you say your name bro but thanks thanks for helping me out Oh, wait. Yeah, you, you need money? I got the Laripa fur right here. Whoa, buy one? Oh, my fault, bro. Here's one, and there's one. Sick, dude. Now we look like a, a lion or something. More like a champion, actually. Okay, well, we're going to store that in the POH and probably not take it out forever. All right, that chunk is complete. Now we have 76 doable, and I don't know if there's really anything... Big Choppy Bird Hunting? Okay, well, we can do Big Choppy Bird... Well, we can start Big Choppy Bird Hunting if we get 76. But that about wraps it up for this one. So, what do we got next? Okay, what... What are you? Um... What is this? Are you even anything? I don't think you're anything. You don't look to be anything, but I'll go take a look at you. Maybe you're something. Apparently, I am a fool, because I did not remember that this is the best in slot, uh, both range and water in the entire game. We got our we got our cooking chest right here. Actually, it, it's our best in slot range. It's not our best in slot cooking spot, period. That'll always be like myth skilled or rogue stand or something like that but do we have like any any like oh wait we got four sharks we can uh we'll cook these up real quickly it's actually super cool slap it on there oh yes can we go four for four no dude all right well that's uh that's three or four pretty sick i don't think there's any challenges here just i guess you know we got some really fast water and we got some really fast ranging now Alrighty, Mr. Chunk Picker, what do you have in mind next? Our next destination will be... Stop rolling on Zaya, man. Charcoal burners? What is that? Oh, we got rock cra or sand crabs now. Okay. I have no idea what's in here. I don't even know what charcoal burners are. Or if they're anything. But it's a straight shot down, so we'll go look. Okay, so allegedly, I can put juniper logs in these big old ovens right here, which I'm gonna do. And, oh, I need a tinderbox too, don't I? Let me let me grab that real quickly. And apparently, when I get around to getting Lovakenj favor doable, like, this will help me or, or something? Burn them? If you buy by another, why would I not want to pay you? Why would this be in the game? Why not just give it to us for free? So, there we go. That started, and I'm probably going to sit there for a long time until some point, I think, about getting Lovakenj favor. Well, it's actually not really up to me. It's up to, you know, RNG. Let's roll some chunks. Actually, no, wait. We need to kill We need to kill a sand crab first. Hello, sir. Have I missed some chunking? Uh, a little bit. Are you kidding me, Frank? Franklin? All right, well, a sand crab has died, and it's time to uh, to roll a new chunk. Let's do this thing. Where to next, Mr. Picker? Where go? What? Uh, that clearly should not have been rollable. And I don't know why it was. So we're going to try that again. Uh, that was odd. All right, let's, let's do this again. Oh, I guess it wanted to go up there anyway. Ooh, now we have access to anglerfish, which is pretty cool. We'll go catch, like, an anglerfish or two. We can finally, you know, 
dig some worms and bank there if we want to. There's a quest start there as well. Queen of Thieves. Oh, it looks like we can do the Queen of Thieves as well. So I guess we'll go do Queen of Thieves 2. Let's see if we could get in closer to doing a Client of Karend. Nah, Client of Karend and a couple of those other ones are a little far away. But cool. We can get anglers now. Probably not super useful since they take literally an eternity to fish, though. I guess I should be humble and cook the anglers that I just caught as well. There we go. There's an elite task on Karend complete. We now have... Uh, you know, anglers, access to anglers. I probably won't do anglers unless I'm super AFK because they are terrible to catch. They're terrible to catch, but, you know, we have them when we need them. And I guess uh, we can do Queen of Thieves now. Don't really know how long that'll take. Shouldn't take long. From the looks of it, it's a pretty quick quest. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, apparently, the Queen of Thieves needs a client of Karend to do it. So, once we have client of Karend doable, which is... Quite a few chunks from now, we'll be able to do Queen of Thieves. But until that time, uh, we can't do it. All right. Let's lock these. And roll a new one. Where are we going next? <gasps> Wait, no. Well, I mean, I guess that actually doesn't matter that much. Uh, basically, nothing was unlocked there. I got a lot more excited than I should have. Because I just saw this general area, but uh, literally that doesn't matter because, uh, wait, hello, game? All right, there we go. Uh, literally, it doesn't matter, except it gets us closer to, like, mountain camp and stuff like that. I thought it was 28 and we were getting closer to God Wars. That's a, that's a letdown right there. So, we'll go explore it, but it's not going to be really anything new at all, honestly. Our first time stepping out of the art, out of the uh, the Fremenic Slayer Dungeon See, We got a uh, we got a song, we got a song there. So just to prove that we've never been out of here before, we have a fairy ring. Still can't use that. And then we've got these golden sheep and lolly. So lo wait, lolly, do you have? Can I go in here, lolly? No, I can't go in there. All right, sorry, bro. Uh, one day I'll make you a delicious soup or something. I think. And then we've got some cool. Trees and and uh, and some rocks. That's it, though. Well, that's just a fun chunk to have unlocked. If we unlock seventy-two after this, we won't be able to do Mountain Daughter yet because we need quite a few Fremenic chunks as well. So, all right, here we go. Let's do another. <laughs> okay. Uh. Speaking of Mountain Daughter, that's uh, that's unlocked, and I'll have to go see if I can step into the 73, ch oh wait, no, 73, I'll have to go see if I can step into the 73 chunk, we'll go to Mountain Daughter, like I said, we can't do anything there, we're already here anyway, so we might as well go up there, I think we need a rope though, because we have to climb up. All right, well, let's go take a peek at this, see what's, uh, see what's around. Okay, so I wanted to explore this chunk for the sole purpose of knowing whether or not this top spot over here was go inable. Because if it is, then we could roll, we could have, uh, oh, I should probably highlight these two chunks right there. We could have 73 be rollable because it wasn't at this point. But since we can go in that small slot right there, 73 can be rollable or whatever number chunk that is right now. And that would be huge if we could get the troll stronghold. Uh, because when it comes when it comes time for God Wars, that would be very important. So shout out to all of my friends who came and 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 my my very good uh, partnered Twitch streamer friend, Mr. Shen. Who? Oh, I I almost that. Wait, who did I just report? I just reported somebody. Uh. Okay, well, it's better better that I report somebody than uh, stepping into that chunk. It might have been Shen that I just reported, so I apologize, Shen. Um, you can contact Twitch to get unbanned from RuneScape. All right, to quickly reiterate, we went. I went around top here to see if there is any way. No, there's like a massive drop-off on the other side of this, so this top one won't be rollable. 73 is because of this small slot right here, and then 72 because we could just go over like that. So... Let's roll another chunk. Here we go. Um. Okay. 
Oh no, we're gonna have to go see the Menafoss wall. The only reason this junk was rollable because of that small corner. I can't even go there. And now we have to go see the Menafoss wall. Gosh dang it, man. Wow, look at this vast land of incredible content. Uh, we're going, uh, we're going to the chunk. Where is it? There it is. All right. Let's, let's step on it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Huge. We did it. Oh, we unlocked Sphinx. Let's go, baby. Uh, that's the only one that we can't go to. Now uh, we can step back out here. And here's your wall that I didn't show you earlier. Uh, very exciting. Kind of looks like a weenie. A weird one, but that one does at least. Uh, I know some brothers that'd be real proud of this one, huh? Oh, they'd be real proud of this wall. I guess that junk is... The Why is there grass there, bro? There shouldn't be grass. Anyway. Anyway. Let's roll another chunk. If that wasn't the most exciting half chunk of action you guys have ever seen in your entire life, I don't know why you're watching this series. That was balls to butts action right there. But now... Let's go roll a terrible chunk, which is probably going to be significantly more boring. What did I just roll? No. No. Yes. Finally. Ah. This is good. This is good. We finally got it. Oh, my gosh. The ruins of Uzzer. Oh, I've been. This might be the longest chunk on. That's been rollable. Oh my gosh, and we finally got it. It's been so important for so long, too. Uh, so this is extremely important, because I can now do Shadow of the Storm. I can do the Golem. And, most importantly, I can do Evil Dave's part of RFD. Which now means we have access to getting stew boosts. So when the time comes for Shades of Morton, we now only need 90 fire making. When the time comes to runecraft wrath runes, we only need 90 runecrafting. And I think that's really it. That's probably the only thing that, that skill boosting is useful for nowadays. But that's amazing. That saves me a lot of time, actually. All right, there is Shadow of the Storm complete. One quest point, 10,000 range XP, and... The Dark Light. Oh, I forgot to mention the Dark Light. The Dark Light is amazing because now we can get the Arc Light from it. And that's basically like a, uh, I think it's like a budget Dragon Warhammer for the time being. That was a nine and a half minute quest. Maybe it's like ten minute quest. I'm not sure what it was. But quest is complete. And now we can go and move off to the Evil Dave portion of Recipe for Disaster. And get the stew boost that we need. So I guess, um, I'll probably... I should come back here and chisel that, shouldn't I? I guess Chunk wouldn't be complete until I come back and chisel that. Guess what today is? What's today? National Sh Throw Short People Day. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Ah, uh, yes. Let's chisel the throne. You'll need a hammer as well. Okay, uh, let's try this again. What are you going to tell me? I need th four soft clays, a chisel, and a hammer. Wait, no, like a plank this time? Like the potter's wheel? No? Okay, good. There we go. There are our chisels from the throne. We chop, so we chop some teak logs and... Lastly, what, what, hold up, wait, what, you require additional power from the catacombs, oh, wait, do I have to do that in the catacombs, okay, I'll go, I'll go do that later then, we're, we're probably gonna do the, uh, the Evil Dave's part of RFD first though, okay, well, that was a 10 minute and 30 second quest, maybe it was 11 minute quest, with a kitten as well, let me say it again, the Rune Light Helper is enormously overpowered, uh, there we go. There's Evil Dave's completion. 7,000 cooking XP. E ability to make spicy stews. Ability to have a Hellcat. I already have a Hell Kitten. And increase Colonomancer chest access. So let's go take a peek down there. Buy some new gloves. See what other cutlery we have access to now. And then make an arc light. I think we might have to beat each of the rats in the Evil Dave area as well. And that's probably it. Well, since we uh, completed the RFD portion of Evil Dave, we can now kill these rats all up in here. And that is the last behemoth rat that we needed to fall. Well done, overgrown uh, Hellcat. It only took us one dead kitten. It deserved to die because it was too weak. And a misclick before we completed that. So there we go. All that we have left to do is go make our arc light. And we're back to rolling chunks, ladies and gents.
Yeah, 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 okay, I use them. I use them. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Nope, don't teleport. Now we're going to throw that on there. We have 2,000 charges on the arc light. Luckily, when you spec with the arc light, it does not take a charge down. So, these will be very useful for some time because, like I said, they act as like a mini Dragon Warhammer and they can be very useful. And I guess it's also one third of the equation for Corp. So I guess we need like a, you know, a Dragon Warhammer and a Z Hosta and a Z Spear. Maybe it's just a Z Spear and then we can technically do some Corp. So I guess that's pretty cool. No new rollable chunks after that one is opened. So let's see where we're going. Here we go. Wait, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Okay. This isn't bad. This isn't bad yet, I should say. We can go to the Woodcutting Guild. So, uh, we're going to head off to the Woodcutting Guild. We can now make Bone Voyage rollable. That was the last place that we needed to have Bone Voyage doable, but we won't really be able to do the quest until we unlock the Fossil Island area. Where is Fossil Island? I don't even know where Fossil Island is. Oh, there it is. Because when you end the quest, I remember this pretty specifically, you end in this chunk. Like, you, you finish the quest in this chunk. So I can do, like, the majority of the quest up until the last part. So maybe we'll just go do that, and then uh, once that's doable, we will. So Fossil Island is actually now rollable, and the Woodcutting Guild is uh, entrance. We don't need to get 90 fire making yet, because we don't have access to Redwoods. And I guess we can sacrifice some, you know, some eggs if we want to. I obviously don't have to get the dark chicken outfit because that's like a 400 million woodcutting grind right there. Not doing that. Sorry. Let us open up the gate. Here we are. Woo! Welcome to the woodcutting guild. Thank you, man. I appreciate that welcome. That was a very warm welcome from you. Uh, let's buy, uh, can I buy an axe from you, sir? No, I want to buy an axe from you because I forgot to bring my axe from me uh, or with me. I'll buy an adamant axe. Because uh, we're going to go chop an ant at some point. All right. And we have 10 eggs. All right. So we're just going to get the full chicken outfit off of 10 eggs. And nobody's nobody's going to cry about it. Oh, a bird nest. Okay. That's that's good. Um, another bird nest. This is unfortunate. I want. Give me my give me my dark chicken, dude. Come on. Oh, are you kidding? Dude, this is ridiculous, man. Come on, bro. I didn't even get my full dark chicken outfit. What the frick? Hey, at least I got a palm tree and a papaya out of that. Not bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna enter the cave and kill an ant because you know why not? Why am I walking? Hello? Oh, I have to jump over the roots. That's kind of silly. All right, ant, you've come to die. Oh yeah, I'm gonna chop this log. Oh yeah, one regular oak log. All right, we've done it. And I, I've actually never been in here. I didn't know that this place existed until 30 seconds ago. So this is a pretty funky looking place, honestly. Is there anything cool left in here? Or is it just a bunch of dead content? It's probably just a bunch of dead content. Wait, there's a bank here? Why is there a bank here? Yo, this might be best in slot bank. Not kidding. This actually might be best in slot bank. This is crazy. All right. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I didn't know that any of this existed. It's a pretty cool one. I think that's all that we need to do for now. Let's go roll a new chunk. All right, well, now we have access to uh, Chunk 71. There's a place called Crab Claw Cave there. Has anybody ever gone into Crab Claw Cave? I sure as heck know I haven't. There's a Crab Claw Island, too? What? All right, well, let's roll a new chunk. What do we got? Here we go. What are you? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, is that a quest? Is that a quest? Curse of the Empty Lord. I can do that. I don't know if I have the quest I need to. Desert Treasure. Can't do that yet, but that's another step for Desert Treasure. Roving Elves. Definitely can't do it. Song of the Elves. Nope. And Waterfall Quest. No. <clears throat> I feel like there might be something here that I need to do. Maybe not, though. Let me go do a little bit of research on this one. 
Let's take our first steps into the chunk. The Waterfall music track has now been unlocked. We got uh, Gerald down there. Tragic name. I apologize deeply to anybody named Gerald. Actually tragic if your name is Gerald. I apologize if your parents named you that. Now we got this dude. He's probably the highlight of this chunk. Rosalo. He's got olive oil, which is cool. That's going to be useful. Well, I mean, it's not really that useful because we'll have access to it. When we get two Shades of Morton, but if I ever want to take an adventure and go buy it elsewhere, I know that I can here. We got some kegs of beer. Absolutely, I'm buying one. A Flam Tear Hammer. I don't know why you have that. I'll buy a Horsey as well. You got some nice wares. Uh, a Fremenic Pink uh, Cloak. Yeah. Instruction Manual. Don't need it. I never use instructions. A Blue Hat. I'll take that. Absolutely, I'll take that. And thank you for letting me see your wares, sir. I don't think I... Uh I don't think I need anything else from you. I appreciate it, though. We're going to drink this keg of beer, though. All right, while I'm very drunk, we're going to go over to Glarial's tomb. Mm. Mm, yes, the tomb is nice. And then when we have desert treasure, we'll have the ring and can, you know, go down there. But until that time. No, we can't. All right, uh, that's that's it. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's roll a new chunk. Nothing new is rollable from having that chunk unlocked, but again, very scarily close to the chunk of doom. Unfortunately, well, I guess fortunately, no. Definitely fortunately, it won't be completable until we have Barbasalt done too. Or I guess this convoluted route as well. Wait, no, Barbasalt has to be unlocked as well. But let's roll a new chunk. Where are we going? Now, uh, I don't think anything new is here. Lizardmen, Lizardmen, Brute, Sergeants. Okay. I think we have everything done here that we would have completed over on this chunk right here. But that does mean that we're one tile away from unlocking shamans. And again, we won't be able to do shamans until we have 100% favor. But that's definitely a bit of a scary, scary chunk to get right there. Oh, boy. That is a... That's a scary one. Well, would you look at these fellas? They're just the... Uh, it's just like a, an orgy of... Running and jumping and yelling and screaming out here. A lot of burnt bones. There, There's a lot of chaos going on right now. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's a little scary. And if I try to attack one, can I? Yeah, I can't attack them because I don't have favor. So this is really it. It's kind of like just a, a war ground, honestly. Which makes sense because it is an actual battlefield. So there's not really much that I can do in this chunk for the time being until we get to, well, you know. Have Shazy in favor and roll. Oh, I almost stepped in a bad one. This chunk. I have no idea anything about Lovaken, so I'm not even going to start to think what 72 unlocks because I have no idea. 71, like I said, shamans. Can't do them until I have favor. Alrighty. What's up next, game? Give me something. <laughs> oh, Jack, I'm sorry. Uh, there is another part of Soul Wars Island unlocked. What we're going to do, we're going to go down here, we're going to look at it, and then we're going to roll a chunk. Because that's all these chunks are. It's complete nothingness. Wow, look at this chunk. Very cool, very exciting. You got some nice maple trees and some sand crabs and, you know, some, be some beach bushes. Okay, what? What died over here? This is actually intriguing. The remains of an ancient beast. Does he have a very long dong? Because that could be the uh, that could be the new revenant boss that's coming out. That that's interesting right there. I doubt it is, but this is it. You know, I said yeah, that's all we're gonna do. And another corner chunk. How about it? All right, speed roll. We're not wasting any time. Go. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ooh. Oh, is that? Oh, it's one step closer. Oh, it's one step closer to God Wars, man. Hello, why can't I unlock it? Hello, game? 
Go away. Oh, shit. Wait, there we go. Okay. Uh, there we go. There is one step closer to God Wars. Oh, we're two away now. We are two perfect rolls from God Wars now. I guess we'll go take a peek in here. I don't even think we can go inside. I don't, heck, I don't even know if we can get up there outside of the quest. We can try, but I don't even know if we can get up, like, in there. I think it's all we can do We just, like, walk on that path. You know what? You may berate me in the comments if you want. Uh, you need to start, like, the Troll Stronghold quest to get back there. And I just kind of CBA, man. We're, if we go back there, we're literally just going to walk there and then nothing's going to happen. So, I'm just going to roll another chunk. Just just imagine. Just use your imagination and see what it looks like, okay? Uh, there it is. You know what? You, we can see it from a distance because we can't complete the quest. So, there's no point in starting it. Let's roll another chunk. You forgot climbing boots? I forgot climbing boots. Did I? All right, 72 is now rollable. It is primary Trollheim. Now, it's not like a whole heck of a lot that I can do there. I mean, it's just a nice little circle maze. We, I would like to finish, uh, you know, the, whatever, Ed, Edgar's Rouge. I'd like to finish that first. But here we go. What is up next? Dude, can you stop just giving me these complete nothing chunks? It's actually so annoying. I just want to play the game and do something fun. Ah! Wow, look at this. Very exciting. There's an iron scimitar spawn. And a literal nothing. It's a lot of cool stuff here. Like Jagex did with Zaya. Great job creating a nice looking place. But with absolutely no content, I think if we learned anything, it's the fact that Jagex and Zaya just, you know, it was a cool idea, but you could have just made it better. There's the ruins, man. And then on the other side, there's literally nothing else. Oh, uh, great. Now we have access to Lacerda Falls. Can't wait to roll that one. All right. Well, uh, here we go. Stop with the Zaya. Stop with the Zaya. Stop with the Zaya. There's the Vinery. I can't do anything with it, though, because I don't have... Uh, I mean, I have the uh, the, the Shazium Favor percentage to use it, but I don't think I could even get the... I don't think I could even get the, the seeds for it, because that's the, that's the Vinery. I think you can grow grapes there. I'll have to double-check. That might be useful. I've never grown grapes before, so I'll go see what this is like. This might be good, or it might be terrible. I don't know. Wow, look at me. I'm every single 25-year-old white depressed lady in the vineyard just enjoying some wine while I pretend I don't hate my life and posting pictures on Instagram to look better than the people that I hate. It's kind of sad that that's our reality. And this is sad that this is my reality. Uh, I can't do anything here. It's like a, it's a nice vineyard, but until I have grapes from the titty farm, which is now one chunk away... Uh, it's just an empty, it's an empty chunk. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait to roll this chunk. It's coming up next. I'm not even going to move. I'm rolling this one next. I know it. Titty Farm is rollable next. That's going to be a lot if we do end up rolling that. So if we do, we'll talk about it then. Without further ado, let's get to the next one. What are you? Oh, boy. Well, that, uh... That's 90, um, that's 90 fire making. Wait, 85, because 5 plus boost. That's Redwoods. That makes Shades of Morton a little bit easier. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I'm still going the magic route. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Hey, I mean, we actually have something to grind. I can't complain with that. Oh, nice. I'm cheering about fire making. Well, I've entered into the bot side of the woodcutting guild. And boy, oh boy, is it beautiful. We got our U cutters. We got our magic cutters. And we have our ultimate, and I mean ultimate, Chad cutters up here, ladies and gents. Look at these champions. They're just crawling. I mean, that's a cool name, man. They are just AFKing their lives away, not having a single care in the world. So... Uh, we are going to have to chop a redwood on the good news on that end. I am 50k away from 90 wood cutting, which, well, yes, that is the level 4 chopping redwoods. And we need about 
you know, a couple of levels of fire making to get there. So we'll have to get 10 fire making levels at some point, but I expect 90 wood cutting to be first. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, and that is going to do it for this episode of the One Chunk at a Time Iron Man number 43. Hello, Colby. Yes, we are ending with the Redwoods because it is going to be a lot of fun to show that. Well, I mean, how fun could 90 fire making and 90 wood cutting be? Well, find out next episode because you will definitely find out. Can I help you, sir? Oh, no, now you will. Good job, pal. I'm proud of you. Uh, hey, uh, okay, I'll take a genie during an outro. That's fine. Now you get to look at my back for the rest of the time. I promise y'all keep your eyes peeled for a bestiary coming this week. Literally promise because... I'm about, let's say, 45 hours into the last NPC, and we probably have five to seven more hours left to go with it. It's it's terrible. So you'll see that hopefully this coming Wednesday. Hopefully I'm not lying to you yet again. I love you guys. Take it easy. Drink some water. Go for a walk. Hug your mom. And like the video, of course. I'll see you guys.